This is Lisa from Lisa Sharing Life Stories with you. I wanted to come on here real quick and and kind of I've been thinking this forever and I've never said it to none of you guys yet. I kind of want to be known as the Aunt B of YouTube because think about it. Aunt B from the Annie Griffith Show was nothing but love and light. She'd cook for you. She treated everybody like gold. That's That's just how I am. Like... I love that family atmosphere, Phil. So everybody's got in their minds, they're so screwed up. Let me just tell you how fucked up everybody is. I wrote on Darkerty Dozen's uh, page, I'll come and cook and clean for you for free just so I can be around your wonderful family and your kids and all that. And some guy, oh, that's creepy. <laughs> no, it isn't. Everybody thinks everything is so weird and wrong nowadays because they're so used to seeing rapers and murderers. I think there's good people out here still, people. Hello. And I am the proof of it. I'm a good person. I don't do everything right. I fuck up a lot, okay? I'm human, but I'm a good person at heart. When it comes to the heart of the hearts, that's what I, I live by my heart. I, I, I'm wrong sometimes, but I live by my heart. I don't care if you're black, white, purple, love another guy, love another woman. I don't care. Long as you're a good person to me, I'm good to you. And sometimes I get, I've tried with people that are shitty to me and sometimes you just can't make them change. So then I will be closed off with those people. I don't try to be mean, but I'm closed off. But I, I feel that I want to come on here and just spread love. And I, and I find it's a hard thing to do. So many people are unreceptive. They don't want to hear what I got to say. They, they're, they're closed. They're hurt. One lady was mean yesterday. Oh, better get a better kind of job or some shit or some. And I found out. I know why she's bitter. Her husband died and left her with all that responsibility. And she had to, you know, bust her ass to get what she's got. And I praise her for it. But then that's no reason for you to turn and be mean to the next person. Because somebody else may not be as strong as you to pull their asses up. That's what people got to remember. Everybody isn't always strong to pull their ass out of their their head out of their ass, I mean to say. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they need help. Sometimes they need to be shown the right path. And what's wrong with a little bit of love along the way? What's wrong with somebody just, you know, just us laughing and enjoying the day? I don't see nobody doing that no more. Everybody's just so caught up in what they're doing. Society, like we run like we're crazy. And we got all these minor inconveniences, but we seem to get nowhere and do nothing. You know, like what, what are we really accomplishing with all this shit? Nothing, nothing. Don't tell me no different because we aren't. So everything was meant for a reason. I think the way God did things and I seen uh, the lady from our tribe of many and she goes, there, there was a reason why it, you took you, you know, and a couple hours to make your own bread and do things because things were a purpose. God had things for a plan and then man tried to go and re and change everything and it don't work like that. It doesn't work as good as God's way. It just don't. It just don't. The old ways, you felt purpose. You felt like you accomplished something when you were done with something. Nowadays, I make myself sound like a 100. I'm only 56 years old. But I cannot believe how much things change for the worse for 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 the no good in the last five to ten years it's unbelievable like i say since 9 11 people are so cold since the pandemic they're mean as hell people see this shit on tv and they think it's okay to go act a fool in the store uh and and knock everything down and act ghetto and ignorant no it's not okay to do that no you look like a fool you, you don't Act like you would want to be treated. And I, it's a real simple, basic shit in life. People don't want to hear on here. They don't want to hear that. But you can't seem to do it. You can't seem to live it. So that's why I keep saying shit over and over. Because people can't seem to do the simple shit. Like, why do you have to tell people that are grown adults, don't leave your kid in a hot car? 
Why should you have to tell anybody such a thing? I mean, what the f is in your head? You guys tell me. What is, you know, why should you have to tell somebody something like that? Right? Why should you? You should, that shouldn't even be said. Why is there, I don't know, 100 to 300 kids die in a hot car every year? Why? Why? I don't understand. A child's your most precious gift from God. I wasn't lucky enough to have kids, but man, if I had a kid, I'd kill you for my kid. So, yeah. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I would do anything and everything for that child. Because they are a gift from God. And I, I can imagine, they, you know, they got their good points and bad points, like anything else. But that's, you take the good with the bad. That's life. Just like marriage. You got to work at marriage. My marriage wasn't always good. I had to bust my ass to get my husband to think right. And, yeah, life is hard. But you got to put shit in to take stuff out. And you can't be mean doing it. You can't. Because you're ruining the everything. You're ruining everything. So, yeah, this is Lisa sharing life stories with you. I want to come on here and be positive. I'm just telling you some of the negatives. I want to come on here and sh tell you, though, about the positive things. I want to be, like I said, an Aunt B kind of thing. I don't want to come in here and be bitching about people, but I'm saying the basic facts, why people don't seem to understand and they don't get. And it's, and it's just hurting them, and it's hurting everybody else. Just be nice because if you were nice, it would make a shitty day just go so much better and so much, so much smoother, wouldn't it? Just think about it. If you have a decent way and a decent way you go about your day, instead of getting all wild and crazy and being mean to people, wouldn't your day just go better and their people around you's day go better? It would, but. Lisa sharing life stories with you. I just had to say a couple things. Get them off my chest. I love you all. When I'm off on Monday, I'll get back to my dumpster diving and stuff. And I'm going to be making, ch hopefully, Chicken Alfredo homemade Olive Gardens version this week. It'll be really good.